welcome Sagittarius to your May love reading. Uh, the cards are out because while I was recording, the sound was off, unfortunately. So these are the cards that came um, out for you guys. We do have the Seven of Rings, the Four of Swords, the Dawn of Swords, the Dawn of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Cups uh, in reverse here. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. At the end of the reading, we are going to pull these Lovers of Oracles followed by the Hidden Truth Messages from your person. Okay, so let's go ahead and get jump right into your reading. So we do have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So I feel like there's a either a misunderstanding or feeling a need to protect yourself in some way or giving up hope within a situation. We do have the Four of Swords energy. So this is some type of separation or maybe not communicating with this person at this time. But I do feel with this judgment card, there in this Eight of Cups, which is in the challenge and the Eight of Cups, which is in reverse, that somebody is, I don't feel like has walked away, but maybe feels like they have, but now regretting their decision, okay? This is getting through something here. This is um, overcoming some challenge, challenges and some blockages within a situation. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love, a new fount of emotion, a, re a new relationship or a connection here. Now with the Star card, it's all about wish fulfillments. It's about blessings. It's like wish is coming true, opportunities. This could be healing after something in your past or something within the situation. It's all about renewed hope, okay? And knowing that you're on the right path here. The Queen of Swords energy, I'm really loving this because this is someone that is very true to themselves. And I feel like this is you, Sagittarius, okay? And the reason why I feel that way, even though you're a fire sign, I feel like you're needing to bring in this air sign here, especially if you're healing or been broken before. I feel like you're at peace and you're really not wanting anybody to disturb your peace here, okay? So whoever comes in your life, you're wanting them to be serious and truthful as you are. So I feel like you could um, be setting some boundaries here and it's all regarding your happiness with the sun energy, which is abundance and love and joy and purity. And the strength card is all about talking from the purity of your heart too, but you're not wanting any BS. So I feel like you are going, you are setting some boundaries, especially if there was something suspicious about this person or you're wanting to get something off your chest. Um, I do feel like with the seven of wands, what you don't see coming right under the challenge of the eight of cups, it's like, you're a need to defend yourself or protect yourself or just set boundaries and knowing what your wants are um, and you're in what you don't want out of a situation what you're willing to tolerate here okay because you're just wanting that true long-term commitment like does this have potential to be something in the future all right so i feel like with this ace of pentacles it's a solid new beginning yes it's in your outcome but there could be some challenges here as defending yourself where it could be a fear of this person walking away and not accepting what you have to say but i feel either way you're coming from a pure place so even if this person did walk away it's like you're filtering out a page energy very immature energy okay it's like you're filtering out all the Im immature people that come in your life by them you know by you just being honest with yourself in the situation you'll see which ones are going to be mature and which ones aren't um, so I do feel like with this judgment card in the mutual energies is there's, this is about choices. It's about second chances and awakening here. And I do feel like somebody is regretting and wanting to, you know, communicate about this and like kind of getting a better understanding. And this is going to be like an over, like overcoming this. We do have the eight of swords. So it could be a feeling of feeling stuck or fear or something like feeling trapped in, in a situation. Um, we do have the lovers, so it's a choice within love here. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles, again, which I feel is you're evaluating the situation, okay? You're taking a step back, looking at the whole situation um, and seeing if you want to just leave this behind or move forward. Either way, there's some talk here regarding this judgment card in the mutual energies. And then the challenge for both of you is not quite letting go yet okay um 
but I feel like the choice is all up to you guys, right? What direction you want to take, but you're knowing you're doing the right thing with this star card. And it's like confirmation here that you are, you're, you're coming from a pure place when you're communicating. So it's like, take it or leave it. I'm not going to waste my time. I have my sun energy and I don't want anybody to dim that light, okay? Or put or put you through any more heartbreak as what hap if things happened in the past. I don't really see a lot of past energy. I feel like the star is like you healed a lot of your past and you've done a lot of inner work here. So I don't feel like this is coming up as a, you know, a past relationship. I do feel like this is more of something fresh. Now this new situation could have been in the past, yes, but I do feel like a lot of you are, you know, have gone through so much and you're just not wanting anybody to, to disrupt this sun energy, the most happiest card in the deck, your happiness, right? So this is like a pool of change, but this is joy and abundance coming in regardless. Let's see what this person has to say to you. So many things remind me of you. I know that I crossed the line. Yeah, so there could have been, you know, something to where this person is regretting, you know, um, what they've done or how they treated a situation. But I would take what resonates with you. I don't react when people mention you. And I feel you even though we are apart. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Maybe for some of you or your person. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation here. All right. And then we have decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. That's where that judgment comes in. And then let's grab some lovers of oracles for you guys and see what's coming through. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Take what resonates with these cards because there is a lot of energies. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. I like that. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And we have... When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay, so I rarely do this, but I'm a curious person. So I want to see what this judgment card is um, between the mutual energies. So let's clarify. What is this judgment card? The Magician and the Page of Cups. Yeah, so a message, someone's manifesting, coming in again, um, knowing that they crossed the line here, trying to find balance within the situation. Um, this is the magician. So this is creativity or putting a plan in action here. And then the page of cups is something that's unexpected. And then the eight of crystals, which is the eight of wands. So that's communication, something coming towards you, okay? And the page of cups is something unexpected and emotional offer here. Again, this could have been in the past, present, or something you're coming out of. All right, guys. So communication, moving forward, some messages coming through. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for you guys. If you do like this message or if it helped in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.